Hey, it's me, Matthew. We're on page 39 of the Rise Up Singing Songbook. This is an important one. I'm going to start you off with some na na nanas. And you listen to the tune because at time of recording, which is right now, 2011, this is the only place you're going to find this tune on YouTube. Hopefully, it's not going to be this way for long. Other people are going to do it. It's going to be great. But right now, I couldn't find it on YouTube. So I'm putting it on. Pay attention. Na 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 na. The beginning, everybody agrees on. Na 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 so far so good but watch na 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 you end on an A so the second chord I played after I said so far so good, but watch, was an E major. And that's the crucial chord because a lot of people have been singing this on YouTube. You'll find it a lot. You'll find it a few places on YouTube and they sing it with a tune that I think, bless them, sounds more natural to them. It sounds more natural to me, but that's not the tune as, as I've found it in what I consider to be a more authoritative place. And it won't work if you sing it with the Rise Up singing chords, which are correct. It'll sound really wrong. So, with this, with an E major, this is a D, this is going to be an E major. So watch it. Na, 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 that's the note you gotta hit. Na, na, A, and then a D, na, na, E minor, na, 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 N on A. A lot of people have been singing it like this. I'm going to do it with an E minor, listen to how it sounds, and then don't do this. Unless you want to. I mean, do what you want. Na, 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 this is the note that will mess you up if you sing it, don't sing it. Na, 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 na. You can sing the whole song like that, and, and it works fine, but apparently, that's not the chord that goes in there. So, with an E major. If you think I'm not hitting my notes properly, I've got a great MIDI file to send you to, and you can listen to that over and over and over until you get it in your head. All I ask of you, I'm gonna walk down a D, I'm really bad at it, so I don't wanna hear your comments. I know I'm bad at walking down the bass line of a D. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you deep the joy of being together in one heart and for me that's just where it is all I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you as we make our way through all the joys and pains, can we find our younger, truer selves? All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Someone will be calling you to be there for a while. Can you hear their cry from deep within? All I ask of you is forever to remember me as love in you. Laughter, joy, and presence are the only gifts you are. Have you time? I'd like to be with you. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Let's do that a few times over. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Keep going, same thing. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you.
one more time. All I ask of you is forever to remember me, my bad, as loving you one more verse. Persons come in to the very fiber of our lives, and then their shadow fades and disappears slowly. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Not gonna start over last time. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Let's talk a little bit about um, that song. That song's great. Also some rumors going around on the internet, and they may be true, for all I know, that this is a Sufi song, that this is a song of Islam, of the Sufism sect. But um, Rise Up Singing credits a man, and that man is not a Sufi. That man is Gregory Norbert O.S.B. And I think that O stands for order, S may stand for saints, not sure, and B stands for Benedictus or Benedictine. Uh, basically, a Benedictine monk called Gregory Norbert. Look it up, do your own research, check it out. Is it a Sufi song? Is it by Gregory Norbert? Can it be both? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, the author I have is Gregory Norbert, OSB. Another thing, that D I was doing. All I ask of you, I was trying to walk down the bass line of the D. I'm bad at it. This is how you do it in principle. Your open D, okay? Can you see that? I hope so. All, and then, let me get a little closer here, <clears throat> and then you would take your pinky and you'd stick it up here on the 4th fret, 5th string. And it would sound like that, that'd be your bass. And then you would change the fingers that you're using to make your open D like this, and then you would take your index finger, which is now free, and put it on the 5th string, 2nd fret and that would be your bass and then the last one you would go back to just playing an open D except you would also strum the A string and that's hard for me to, it's tricky I haven't practiced it enough what I was doing was one cheat that you might want to do um, and it's like this open D pinky you gotta stretch that no way around that then here, instead of switching around to do the D a different way, I would just take this index finger, just take it off. It's doing something on the open D, but just forget about it. Put it up here, fifth string, second fret. Uh, play it anyway. So there's another note in there, but it sounds fine to me. I think that's pretty. And then back to open D with an A in the bass. Uh, you can do that. You can do it a better way if you know a better way walking down the D. That's what you see down there where it looks a little tricky. It says D and then in brackets D, C sharp, B, A. That's what it means. Walk down the bass line using those notes. Ha! Huh. Have a good day. And I will, I will check you later or you'll check me later or, you know, see you tomorrow.